Okay, so we're going to have a go. Remember, I had a go with this. Not had a go with it. I built this heat exchanger. I've connected two rubber hoses to it. This is a piece of fire retardant. It's not asbestos. You're not allowed anymore. But I'm going to put that on the fire. Not this. The hot, this bit of copper. Okay. Hopefully, I've got enough coils and see if we can produce some hot water. So I've got a bucket. I've got some water. I'm going to put some in it, and we're going to have an experiment and see if this works. It's just fun, and it's raining, and it's a little bit windy. Cold water. I'm going to put that on there. Put the pipe in there. Put the pump in there. Oh, smoky smoky. Then we'll put some logs. This is like a heat exchanger now. So the idea is to get the fire hot around it. Hopefully it doesn't melt the pipes. That should be alright. And then we've got this pump here that I put like just an ordinary oil pump. And it acts it acts like a central heating system. So the pump will draw the water from your tank, which would be your header tank or whatever. Push it through your heat exchanger, which would be inside your boiler. Heat it up. Better turn it on. And as the water being heated, look, can you hear it? That's the water being heated. Now we might have a few leaks, but the simple reason is it's not the best. So. In theory, we should be getting some warm water. <laughs> warm water. Right. Oh, smoke. Let's see how hot we can get it, all right? I might put that in a bit. So it drips into the bu bucket. Let's see. There we go, that's better. So it's drawing the cold from the bottom, and it should be replacing it with the hot. Like that. Right, let's see what happens. All right, let's see what this wolf is feeling like now. So, we can get it through the bucket. Oh, it smokes it in the eyes, hold on. Now, I don't know how I can prove this to you, but the water in, in this, the pipe here is hot now. And we can see that. Oh, look. For some reason, it's sort of... Well, it's pumping as well. Uh, look at that. Woo that is hot. That is steaming hot, that is. I don't think you can hardly touch it. So let it run. No, oh, no, you can't touch that. No, you definitely can't touch that. So I'm just going to leave that now for a while and see how, we, see how hot we get it. The pump's not the strongest, I've got to admit. It's only a oil draining pump. Uh, and the attachments as well. I've got quite a few attachments to get this to work. So I've got a garden hose with this coming from the pump into the garden hose, from the garden hose into that, into a copper branch line, which is even smaller. So that's probably why I'm not getting much draw, because we've got to reduce the... We've reduced the diameter of the pipe down quite a bit. But well, the idea was just to see if it works. So, see if it's a heat exchanger. And it does work. And it works beautifully. Okay, so it's been going about 10 minutes. The water now, if I'm just showing it, the water is now hot enough. You can actually shower in that if it's warm enough. Yeah, and it's still coming out hot, look. It's a very crude setup, I've got to admit. The pump 
is not the best. It's a cheap, just ordinary oil pump, which you put in your dips, you take your oil cap out, and you can drain your oil out of your system. It's not the best. It's running on two uh, batteries, which are the D-shaped batteries, are quite big ones. Uh, and with the restrictions as well, so a bit of modification, and we'll have a quite a good bit of kit here. And then you can, oh, you've seen the shower, but I'll show you the most tiny shower, powerful. The water's getting quite hot now, so this is the most compact, look at this, look at this, tiny shower, portable shower you'd ever get, I think it's absolutely amazing, I wasn't expecting this, alright, you see it in another video, so, I bought a battery with it, so the battery comes there, it was the wrong one, so I sent for the whole unit, and that's it, look, put that down, that's the charger, that's the holder, okay, that's your battery, tiny. Let's try this, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Twist it, it's on, that's your, that's your power. Put it on the tripod. This is how simple it is. Look, this pushes through there onto your pump, like so. Pump right in the water, totally submersible. Power head goes on. Now you're in the woods, okay? We're in the woods. We've got no power, we've got no electric, we've got open fire, all the smoke, <laughs> right? A tiny shower. It's got to work, I'm going to be embarrassed, right? A bucket of hot water we just produced from an open fire. That, look at that, that is hot, you can see the steam, that would be a really comfortable shower, there you go, so I mean a little bit of modification, a slightly better pump, with less connections, and you've got the most amazing shower, off grid, in the woods, wherever you want to be, come on, I'm kind of proud of you guys and gals. That's hot, that's no, no, that's really hot. You would actually you're probably going, oh, 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 oh. you had a shower in that now. So it took what? It took 15 minutes to get a bucket of hot water from my little device there. Alright? And there we go. If you enjoyed the vid, please give it a thumbs up and all right. Really appreciate that. Um Yeah, so I'll pack all this away and uh, go on with a bit of cooking. Alright, take care and we'll catch you in the next vid. All the best. Yes, just to finish off. If I drop the pipe lower than the, the height of the bucket, I mean that's scalding hot water coming out of there, no joke. You watch. See the difference, can you see that? So much coming out now, it's flowing, so the pump is not the best. But that is piping hot water there. Yeah, that is red hot oh, actually. You can see. Alright, sorry, take care, bye.